Y'all come on in, baby. Come on in. to come on in. coming in. no budget here at the Boom Boom Room. See, we have no glam squad here. There's no hairstylist, no nail technician, no makeup artist, just you. This is a do-it-yourself type of gig over here, sweetie. So guess what? This will separate the little girl from the women. Now let's get to work. Y'all keep on coming in. Come on, come on, come on, dance. Come on, come on, come on, dance. Come on, come on, come on, dance. Come on. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another week of our point of view. It is Wednesday night, and y'all already know what it is. It's Pink Whitney Wednesday. I'm not drinking wine this week. I'm celebrating and drinking Pink Whitney. Okay, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. It has been an um, amazing week, and I hope you guys have had a great week. Who's in here? Let me say hi, son. My son, um... Sidewell Charles CJ is in the building from Sidewell Furniture in Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, Kelvin. Hi, Grace. Hi, my sister Mahajane. Hey, Marco, what's going on? Just I have an exciting, exciting show to um tonight. I'm so happy that um I have two of my favorite people in the world here. Um, one of my bestest, bestest, bestest friends, um, Tamisha Iman, is here tonight to um party and a drink and talk some just with us honey and um my mother is gonna come tonight the viral sensation herself <laughs> so um yeah so we got an exciting show this week so um how y'all been i hope everybody's had a blessed week everybody's doing okay everybody coming in hey cameron just hey dre hi tom how you doing my week was um very eventful this week Last week, um, as you all know, I got a lot on my plate, child, on Wednesday nights, honey. If I tell you, I have to do this show, which I'm not going to stop doing because I love doing it so much because I have gained a newfound love for journalism <laughs> or the way, a new cute way of being nosy. <laughs> so I got that. That's why we moved the time up an hour. Um, so I know some people um, haven't got used to the time yet, but the time has changed. We have moved up an hour because I have to go to work back at Hamburger Mary's. We have the Boom Boom Room every Wednesday night. It's 18 and up, $5 um, to cover drinks and shot specials. We got hookahs. We got Tiana McIntosh on the mic. We got DJ Twerk some on the beat. We got me running around there with my like a chicken with my head cut off, child, and all kind of things like that. You know, so that's what I'm doing. And that's what my Wednesday night be. So on top of that, you know, I got to live life and try to get some rest and all that kind of stuff like that. So, um, oh, Kennedy in here. Hi, Kennedy. <laughs> Y'all had threw me off. Hey, Kennedy. <laughs> I was like, girl, what Kennedy is? So, you know. Just bad with a girl, and I, 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 and I'm glad that y'all are here. I'm glad that y'all support. And if you're not 
on my YouTube channel, please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Chevelle Brooks 75. And, you know, we got to keep these um, subscribers going up, child. So, you know, we got a lot going on. So also I'm working on another show. So I've been, um, I had, I was watching a girl's video one day and she was doing really sick. And so I had a wonderful idea to get a bunch of my friends that do illusions and all that kind of stuff together and have an illusion show. I've always wanted to have one, but I never could afford to have it because um, I'm a show girl myself and I ain't got that kind of money. So, you know, that kind of stuff costs. But during this time in, in the pandemic, you know, things have changed. You see now I'm, I'm a talk show host, a podcast or whatever you want to call it, and a show girl and a club promote. <laughs> so um, I wanted to produce this show and girls have produced many shows online and everybody don't get to see the talent that we have across the country. We have some amazing, amazing, amazing entertainers in the LGBTQIA plus <laughs> community community so i'm having a show and it's called a diva's holiday and i have some of the best illusionists around the country we got dion ward Pella labelle tina turner mariah carey um katie perry reba mcintyre a whole bunch of people they're all the way from california to um tennessee and um florida they coming from everywhere so um i hope you guys tune in it's going to be on the november 25th and November 27th, the day before Thanksgiving and the day after Thanksgiving. Because, you know, usually we don't have, um, we have some stuff that comes on TV all the time that we like to celebrate and all that kind of stuff like that. And I remember a long time ago when they used to have divas, they used to come on during the holidays. So this was a great idea. And I hope you guys tune in because I think it's going to be an amazing show. These girls are recording videos, you know, like they uh, video vixens and all that kind of stuff like that. So you know, it's going to be amazing. So y'all tune in. It's the day before um, Thanksgiving and the day after. So once you fool and land on the couch before you get ready to go out, you can tune in and watch you a good show. Hey, nephew. My nephew Cosmo is in the building. How you doing, child? Hi, Kalitha. Hi, Tanner. So yeah, that's what's um, going on. And then also, we have some celebrations going on. My best friend, the uh, world famous Frida Payne's birthday. For those of you who know my best, one of my best friends, Frida Payne. It's her birthday on, um, tonight. well, at 12 o'clock, it'll be her birthday. So y'all give my girl Frida Payne a shout out. I love you, sister. That's one of my backbones right there. And also, uh, nope, that's the wrong girl. <laughs> <laughs> that girl right there, it's her, it's her birthday. She having a big celebration this weekend. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, child, you know, I'm entitled to uh, an F up every now and then, child. <laughs> so, um, so it's uh, Portia's birthday also this weekend. And we're going to be celebrating Portia's birthday in Hamburger Mary. She's going to tell y'all all about it when she come in. But I'm going to, um, give y'all a little clip you know i like to do my um chevelle books clips i haven't found a name for the clips yet y'all so y'all need to um give me a um a name for these clips child but i'll be searching high and low and if you got something you know people do send me stuff and um and if i think it's funny enough or sometimes i save it for a good time you know i'm just saying but this weekend i went out specifically to see a young lady that is from miami florida her name is alicia lee DeWishes. And she is Miss Universal Latina, and I am a former Miss Universal Latina plus, <laughs> and I am the second African American to win Miss Universal Latina plus. And I won with my girlfriend Sasha Valentino. For those of you who know her, the legendary Sasha Valentino. So we made history by winning that Latin pageant, and um, so it's good to say that she is my Latin sister. She's a phenomenal entertainer so she came to see me last wednesday child and i told alexis baby you have to book this because baby they need to see on sunday night at black girl magic yeah. what this woman do because she was good right yeah, okay yeah i got a guest in the house tonight child her name coco child pick in and say hi coco hi. Yeah, sure that's, that's, yeah i got a guest in the house so you know baby she was good so i want y'all baby i know y'all seen it watch this <laughs>
baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> baby. If I said, oh, oh, I'm not even supposed to be cussing, baby, back, baby. Let me tell y'all something. That's all I can say. If I, if y'all was on the live feed that day, honey, I was like, ah, baby, <laughs> baby, that powder had came out of that wig, and them people didn't know what hit them. Do you hear me? I was like, yes, for now. Baby, you can't tell me I don't know entertainment. I know everybody across the country. You, you want some entertainment? Yes, I got you. I got you. You can get your gist. You can, baby, I got you. I got you. And baby, guess what? They got their everlasting gist. Okay, so y'all follow Alicia Lee, Alicia Lee DeWishes, honey, from Miami. If you ever in Miami, go watch her at the Palace. Oh, speaking of getting your gist. If you want to order, get your just fan. They out there. What's going on? What? Oh, I'm blocking my line. Oh, good. What the? What is doing that? You can um, order your just fan. You know, and um, that thirty dollars hit me up via Cash App. Speaking of Cash App, let me put them down here because y'all know, child, a girl, a uh, girl got to work. She begging for money. I don't know what's going on with my lights and stuff, child. I feel like I feel like I'm um, in the twilight zone. Don't get to act the funny child. Do, do not get to do not get to doing that, honey. I'm just uh, oh, Miss Revlon, girl. She tore it up. I'm telling you, just she tore it up. Ooh, child, she got a jerk. So, all right, child, we're gonna move on because I can talk about Alicia Lee uh to the time come home, honey. So I'm gonna introduce my panel right now, who's here um to talk about the judge and all that kind of stuff like this. See, and you know. Just is coming in right at the right time, being that I can't cuss and stuff because I'm on YouTube, and I hope Tevin is listening. So y'all go get a lot of just when I want to say the wrong words. So now just is really finna be embedded in y'all mind now, especially since my mama done put it back on the map. Wait, well, ain't never left the map, but she done really put now. She done put now. She no, yeah, she did now. Just she did that. Just she did it. Yeah. Uh-huh. She did it, she did it, she did it, she did it, she did it. She did it. <laughs> 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 Honey, that light bill is paid, just trust me. Right now, I'm going to bring in my first panelist, my first co-host. This is Neil Dupree. Hey, Neil. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Oh, 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 oh. you lagging, child. You lagging, you lagging, you lagging. I'm lagging. I was going to mute first. Oh, you... Yeah. I know you was on mute. Maybe they need to catch up. Maybe is you it, need to catch up. Is it I don't know. Let me see. You, you got. We gonna find out. Let's. We gonna bring Tevin in, for, and then we gonna see. Why wow, I got the belches? Hello, son. <laughs> Hello. How in the relation are you? Ah, <laughs> Mister No Relation. How you doing? <laughs> oh wait, what did you just say? Kind of relation, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I was listening. <laughs> you got your. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, child, you, I'm glad you was listening, son. Good. I'm glad you was listening, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, Neil. Neil. Yes, can you hear me? Now, nah, Neil, you might need to come. You might need to come back and come, come, come. Yeah, you might need to um, get on out of here and come back. Okay, go out. We can hear you. You just, you just lag. Yeah, do that. And while we're waiting on Neil to um, catch up with us, we're gonna bring in because we have. Uh, well, what's that? What you? Oh, that's yeah. what you mean. We go. We go bring. We go bring in my sister because she been gone. She now she back with the jump off. <laughs> Hi, sister. Hey, everybody. Ma'am, she came. How you doing, girl? I'm good. Girl, good to have you back, child. You lit up over there, girl. You got a ring light? I do have one, but it's not lit tonight. Oh, girl, you lit. You look like nice over there, girl. You got an HD camera, just. I just my lamp and stuff. You know, um, iPhones had upgraded us about a week or two ago. I might need to upgrade me, girl. Then that's probably what the T is. Neil, back, y'all. Let's see. Neil, is that better? 
Is oh, that and you're in the studio. Hold on, you got a bag. Everybody got these back. What's going on? Y'all gonna make them think we got some money. I'm, I'm, I don't know. That's my curtain. Oh, yeah, we, we, we definitely see that's a curtain back there. That's my curtain. <laughs> y'all gonna, y'all gonna think, make these people think we done got some money. Don't y'all forget to share the live so we can uh, try to make some money. If you want to drop us a dime or two, you know, our cash us is down at the bottom. We not, um, because I'm broke as they come, child. I'm telling you, I got to pay rent and everything. And on the, on the one that's rich around here, and, well, we rich, rich in love. So, with that being said, one that loves everybody, we gonna bring in Miss Kennedy Davenport. <laughs> hey, <laughs> girl, you were sitting back there, that head on looking like Bubba McNeely. <laughs> you were sickening. You were sickening. You were sickening. Your titties were full of milk. <laughs> Good to see you back, sister. I missed you. Okay, it's so good to see everyone back together. I know. Back together again. We're back together again. Oh, yeah, we're back now, together Now, of course, again. Just, just because it's your first week don't mean I'm going to take it light on you, though. I, I I wouldn't want you to take it no other kind of way, boo. <laughs> well, I, I hope you're ready for your ass. I, I, mean, <laughs> I ain't got no bullets ready for you, Neil. I got my bullets, baby. She ready for you, I'm sure. Mm. Yeah. We saw we saw to talk about yeah. My, my coworkers and my like friends who don't know what just mean, they want to know what just mean. Well, just is a um a, a word replacement. And it's um, anything positive. So if you see your girlfriend, you can say, instead of, hey, girl, or hey, B, you can say, hey, Jish. Uh, if some, um, you know, you don't like, you like, oh, Jish. Or if somebody turned in like Alicia Lee, oh, she got her Jish. Or like, when you go and vote, I just got my Jish. It, it made me feel good. I I, I feel good. I, I want to go out. I got to get my Jish together. You know, I want to... um. Have trade over so he can get my judge. <laughs> <laughs> just mean a lot of things seem yes, like. Yes, yes. It does. Yeah, you was waiting on that interview, wasn't you? Yeah. No, I'm always ready for that. You know, you gotta be prepared when you when when you put a word out there that don't nobody know and they get popular, you be got to be prepared to answer the question, what does it mean? So when they get ready to what get they judge. They can, you know. So I'm always ready, Jeff. I just, me and my aunt. Hey, Jasmine Master, speaking of just, hey, Jeff. Yes, ma'am. And, and and love and love your first self first, Jeff. <laughs> my coworker who we um who I called you with the other day, she's uh-huh. like whenever the, whenever the teachers on her grade don't get their stuff together, she's like, okay, y'all gonna have to get y'all just together. Yeah, yes, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you an F, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's exactly what it means. You better get your just in order, honey. So, um, you know, I'm gonna take a little commercial break, y'all, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna uh, talk with our bring our special guest on and um, let her get her what? Just okay, Ooh. best part. <laughs> <laughs> And we are back. All right, Joe. Hi, Joe. I want to give a shout out to Joe. Joe, thank you so much for all that you have done. You um have really worked out a lot of stuff for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, Tony, that's what Jewish is. So now you can um get your Jewish, okay? That, that part. So listen, everybody. This next um person that I'm about to bring in is um 
mean so much to me. I've been knowing this person for a very, very, very long time. We've lived together. We've shared ups and downs together. I don't think we ever, we probably fell out, but I probably didn't even know it. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's how it worked, <laughs> but guess what? When she was through falling out, she came right on back. <laughs> I, I've never been, I've never been one that she kicked to the wayside and was actually done. And I love this person from the bottom of my heart. And I want y'all all to show some love and um, some internet hugs. This is Tamisha Iconic Iman. Hello, Tamisha. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Okay. Oh, and you decided to You got up. Just woke up out of bed. Sorry. You, you, oh, you woke up like that? Of course. Oh. Hey, Portia. What's going on, Portia? Hey, Ooh, sleepy. How you doing? Good. I'm good. What's the name, Donna? Happy Are we ready? Was it Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, and Tamisha just had a birthday, you guys, uh, last Friday, and she performed at the uh, girl, was I was gonna say the paper moon portion. <laughs> girl, what, what was it? What's it called? Um, mid not mid time. What is it called? The Magnolia. No, it wasn't the Magnolia. It's the Magnolia Lounge, right? Isn't that what it is? The Magnolia Lounge. Oh, wait, <laughs> ain't that what they had to fight at? No. No, no, I, had, no. I had the Medusa. See, it's so, so confusing. All these M's and stuff, all that, all that stuff been wearing me out. Tamisha, thank you so much for joining us. I'm so glad you're doing this because you know you got your own thing going on, but and you, you know, you only give exclusive to uh, people. And this ain't no interview. This is just to join us over here. But I'm so glad you're here, child. Hey, <laughs> this the family. So okay, this is what okay. we do. That, that that is what we do, right? <laughs> so um, how you been? I've been good, girl. I really well. Why my phone? Go? I've been good. I can't complain about nothing. What's who? Who talking? It's not me. Uh, oh, it's Porsche again. Did you? Did, yeah. <laughs> who? Who you pointing to? It's it, me. But that was the Bluetooth. That was who? Kevin, you being messy? Oh. Oh, Tevin said, Tevin, Tevin said this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Portia, you be ready to get me. You just be ready, Portia. <laughs> <laughs> y'all a, a hot mess. So listen, everybody. We're going to jump right into things. Um, As you all know, um, Cam is still out. He was my... um my um, political advisor here on our point of view and he's still recovering he don't have a phone but you can shoot, shoot him out a message on facebook and um tell him that you're thinking about him and that you're praying for him that's only if you tell him the truth and um but he's um saying you know some positive things and so just we just wish you healing and um we miss you so much over here at our point of view and we can't wait till you come back i just saw cameron on sunday and we talked about it, so he 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 hopes to be back um, by election time. Oh, that would be amazing because we're gonna have a special election show. We got because we got to talk about it the, the yeah. next day. We are gonna really really have to talk about what went on. So y'all yeah y'all showed to me just some love, child. She looks sickening over that child. I was watching her last week. Child put together. You know I watched that again uh, oh last. Just you sitting in the dressing room um, the other night getting dressed. I had just watched it again, tried to sit up and watch it, and because I love the look and all that kind of stuff like that. I thought you had actually did your hair backstage or something. No, child, you bought that big old wig with you, honey. <laughs> you had bought that big old wig with you. I said, oh, okay. So I might need to borrow that gem. <laughs> no, you got no big wigs up there, girl. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into so because we on we on the time time scale, the time scale. Come on, get ready. Come on. And so, so you guys, um, uh huh. This is the lineup of stuff we do the lineup of the show with. So you yeah, talking just to? Out, you just you just break out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you meet, yeah. meet your mic. Ooh, oh, I'm ooh. sorry. I'm talking to my old man. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Oh man, we're doing the show. <laughs> Text him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, you guys. Last week, um, let me give you a little background story. The, my mom, as you all know, has went viral in in a week time, and they still talking about it. Um. And it was my clip of the week last week because it was a video that she just sent to her family group 
just so she can uh, encourage us to go vote and you know all that kind of stuff like that and so i'm you know me i post everything my mom posted on uh facebook and you know me and posted on instagram and so she posted it on her TikTok, where it got a hold to mila harris who is um senator harris's niece and it just went haywire from there people like anita baker tweeted it um um niecy nash um just the tmz picked it up we did an interview with tmz so it had just became hey white so i'm gonna play the video again so y'all can see yeah okay, guys, i'm going over here and get my jewish i got my grown folks hair on i got my uh savage clothes on i'm ready for this damn heat and i'm ready for these people because i'm going to vote and ain't shit gonna stop me not this sun not this heat and y'all need to go on on and get y'all judged and get y'all vote on. Because let me show you. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to get my damn judged. They could stand out there for 15 hours. I got my chair. They could stand out there for 24 hours. I got my snacks. I ain't going to play with these hoes. I'm going to vote. And I said, you go vote too. <laughs> well, child, if I tell you... It, and so it was just um uh, it's just amazing to see and, and just to even know that's my mama you know <laughs> and i'm i'm just so proud of her and so you guys i'm gonna um i'm gonna bring her in right now and i hope she read it I, I didn't text her and let her know that um that uh it was time but i'm gonna bring her in right now so y'all show some hearts i want to see some hearts and love for my mother this is Belinda Bernardo. Hey, mom. What's up? What's up? How's everybody? Hello. <laughs> How's everybody? Good. Right, mother, hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm old. So I got to get up here and see what the shit you got on that board. I got you. Thank you. Thank you for old folks, baby. Thank you for looking out for old folks. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Granny. You got your bedtime hair on, I see. Baby, my husband already asked me if I'm going to be like this. I told him, hell no. <laughs> you <just> crazy? <laughs> I go to bed comfortable, not pretty. <laughs> okay, okay. So, child, I had to bring you on here because, child, you done got famous and somebody called me and asked me, how does it feel now I've always been the superstar of the family and now your mama's the superstar. I told him, baby, my mama has always been a superstar. It, right. I got I got everything I got everything and how I am from my mom. I just want you to know you are the strongest woman that I know. I love you so much and I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy. I'm glad that everything that is happening for you right now is happening for you and everybody in the world get to see the beautiful woman that has raised me to be the person I am, the strong person I am today. So I love you so much, mama. And thank you for coming on here, girl. I love you too. Thank you. You're the, you're the best child any woman can have. Any woman can ask for you are the best. Uh, you, I you, the greatest, the best child is the one that don't ever ask you for nothing unless they really, really need it. And I know when Chevelle asked me for something, she needed. Chevelle ain't asked me for nothing since 2010, and I don't know how many years it's been before she asked me for that particular thing. But the best child you can have is the ones that's grown and gone. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not grown and gone. <laughs> grown and been gone. <laughs> and um, good and on their own. Do anything. Girl, okay. <laughs> Y'all hear me? Girl, we can no, we did. So the um when we was doing telling night, I had my mama used to wear these little swing dresses. And I would uh I got a drag. And my friend picked me up and we <laughs> went to um, we went to the club to do the talent night because me and Portia was supposed to do talent night together, but she ended up doing it before I did, so I had to do the next one. But I ain't had none the west, so my mama wore the swing dresses and I got on the show and wore swing dresses on the show <laughs> and I would wear my mama clothes. She had <laughs> She had a whole friend's dress one time she got from some store, and I wore that. And when I used to do that's one of my dance costumes, I used to do Aretha Franklin in it, and all that kind of stuff like that. Child, and then she said, Well, um, we riding me and my friend Bubbles to the store. And mama, you remember this? Um, what you doing on the show? And my mama said, What show? I said, <laughs> and I, I blurted out, 
Luther Vandross, and he gonna say David Peace. And she said, I know y'all lying. You better not catch me. You better not, you better not let me catch you with no wings on. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. <laughs> you the one with the good memory. You know I don't remember that. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you another story. Luther so, Girl, yes. So I got the wigs for my girlfriend Jackie and um, the, the shoes for Miss Randy. And I had to keep the wigs in a box with the little black dress I got from Miss Randy in a little box with a lock on it. I don't know how my mama found that box with that lock on it. And she's like, Well, whose stuff is this? That's Jackie's stuff. <laughs> what you, well, what you doing with it? I, I'm keeping it for she can keep her own shit. <laughs> But baby, when she did find out that, you know, um, well, it wasn't, you know, what it was, she had told me, you might, she, I wrote her letter because I was mad about something. And she said, I'm going to tell you this. You might not never tell me, but I know you gay. And I love you. And I love you for every fiber of your being. And there's nothing you can do to make me, to change that. And um, i never forget that. I'm not going to start crying. but Please don't, because you know me. I, I know, girl. But, um. I never forget that, you know, and even when I transitioned, it wasn't even a discussion. I just did it, you know, and she was accepting to it because she always knew. I just think that my mama always knew and only if um, she was OK with it, then I was OK with it. And I never wanted to do anything that would embarrass my mom. So I'm so proud of you. But I'm I tell so you, I, 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 any any mother that that say that they didn't know. I'm not gonna call him a liar, but I'm gonna say they in denial because I knew ever since Chevelle was two that she was gonna be gay, and I think that's I why I but accepted now, it so but fast. Now, but now you yeah. we gonna we gonna call it something else. She's a woman. Oh yeah, that yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> She's a woman. We all do it. She got her. We gonna let her finish her season. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I just, I just always knew. I just always knew. So that's why it wasn't hard for me to accept it. I even had a friend that her her child was uh, gay. So, uh, yeah. but she loved Chevelle to death, but she couldn't accept the fact that her child was. I said, well, how can you love my child and not love your own child? And they're both the same. She couldn't answer that. I said, well, when you find out the answer, you let me know. And, and, and that child, you know, my mama loved that child like he's her own. And that's yes, what I, I love about my mama. You know, she accepts my kids and she loves my kids like they're her grandchildren. And she loves my friends. They and, are my grandchildren. And well, I think Tevin was the first one that called me grand. And that just made me feel so good. I That made me feel <laughs> so good. I was like, oh, I got a grandchild. Then all of a sudden I get yeah. a whole bunch of grandchildren. <laughs> like the old, I call her the old lady in the shoe. You got so many children, honey. Oh, the bell was a floozy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Chabelle's> so, I, <laughs> so I love my grandkids. I love all of my grandkids. I even brought no, one for just, a surprise for her the other day. That she was truly surprised. Look, Jasmine, talking about she loves me just. <laughs> I love just too. I so, sure do. So um, let me ask you, Mama, how are you feeling about all of this that's going on with you right now? Overwhelmed. I, 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 I tell the people in a heartbeat when they interview, my daughter's the entertainer. I'm not used to it, but uh, I, I do like it, and I like everybody. The message that it had got, the encouragement that it has put out for everybody. But like I said, I had no idea going out there, uh, you know, to make it go this viral. I was told by a certain uh, uh, production company today, and I can't call on names, but... Uh, she told me today that my uh, video has gone over 5 million views and I almost fell out the chair. So wow. the last time I checked, it was at like uh, 4 million or 4.2 million. But when she said it's gone over 5 million, then I know they know what they're talking about. So I just, right. I was just, wow. But it has been very, very busy for me. And I just can't imagine what a person uh, that's actually that's actually getting off into the business. I see now why so many people need their production person, their manager, because you need somebody to help you do this stuff and research all this stuff. It's hard work. Yeah. Know? Especially and, uh, when you go when you go into the man. Uh, like, yeah. like I said, when you go into the man, everybody, everybody uh, picks up the phone and want to call you and send emails and all of that. So yeah. 
Well, they were sending mm-hmm. all that to Chevelle because I hadn't been on Facebook in about five years. So a friend of mine was telling me, you need to get on Facebook. You need to get on. I was on I was on Instagram. Chevelle said, Mom, you don't even have a name up here. I said, well, hell, I only got on there so I could see you do your show. I ain't get on here to see the world. You know? So, <laughs> so she like had to mama. try to tighten that up, you know? No Twitter, none of that stuff. Yeah, well, funny. Will y'all have anything y'all want to ask her before I let her go? I thought we was from the top politics with her. Well, no, we ain't gonna talk about politics. We go, we, we go, we gonna let her go. You know, my mama gotta go. She got. Uh, oh, okay. I gotta go. Wa- baby, look, I gotta go watch TikTok. She I ain't y'all stay on here do y'all thing, but I. Yeah. I <laughs> shit, baby, you gotta move around. I Girl, guarantee you, yeah. he talking about looking this good when I go to bed, and I guarantee you, when I go back over there, he sleep good. <laughs> <laughs> you you don't know he might have a blue pill over there. Me ain't got shit over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot we can't cuss on him. He ain't got jush over there. <laughs> Thank you. Girl, I hope Angelica is watching this because then if I tell you when you say that the S word, that mm-hmm. is that is the funniest thing to me, uh, the way you say that. So maybe she's gonna get her life. If I, but mama, I love you so much, and I'm so proud of you. I never thought that when this was the clip of the week last week that we would still be talking about this last <laughs> week, girl. Yeah. Like I know. Phil said the other day, girl. You know we've been doing this for over 30, almost thirty years, all of us. Your mama had a four a, a minute video, a forty two second video. I told that's why I said, girl, no, it was forty two seconds. It wasn't even a whole minute. And <laughs> she, she have cleared all of us. <laughs> okay, you you have shown us who is the original Queen B. Okay. <laughs> but oh, I thanks, love guys, you so much, and I thank you for coming on the show. And um, y'all shout out to my mama. Y'all go follow her and on TikTok and stuff, and see what else she got in store. Cause Oh, I'm going to make her start doing some videos, so just get ready, girl. <laughs> Bye, Brandon, y'all. I'm going to send you some Le- time for your video. You do that. Later. Yeah, you do that. Bye, guys. Love you guys. I love, love you, too. too. Bye, Bye mama. Look at my we're on. Granny got on. So that was my mama, y'all. It, it is so crazy. <clears throat> that, like, it, I could have talked. She could have been the whole show for me, because it would have been a lot to talk about with my mama child, so. And to me, well, we do have a lot to talk about, though. We do, but to me, sure. You know, I'm gonna have to tell my mama who you was when, uh, I, when I talk to her tomorrow. I know, and that's why I didn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I didn't say a word. I said, uh uh-uh, uh, I'm not saying nothing. I knew you got to It's going to fall completely out, God, because y'all know my mama and me and Tamisha lived together for what, two, three years? <laughs> Something like that. Hmm. My mama could never tell who Tamisha was when Tamisha got in dread. Ever. She found out who everybody was, but when Tamisha got a drink, she could never put two and two together. She gonna fall out when she gonna find out that's who that was, child. <laughs> well, yeah, what you were saying there, we got what going on? We got a lot to talk about. What we got? What are we talking about now? Whatever on your agenda, we gonna talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know the thing Well, was- you was a moderator last week, honey. You kept us going, so get it started. Let's go. Yeah, I, I love the child. You know, I, I sit them out so child, you know, we can go. But did y'all know that uh, <laughs> I, went vote, I went to vote yesterday and I went, my mama, she was only in line for like an hour and a half. But she both went and got the chair. I didn't get her, let her explain it to you guys, but she went to the polls and the polls was around the around the corner. The lines was long. So she went home and got her chair and her snacks. And she was like, oh, child, I'm going to be out here all day. But when she got back, the line wasn't as bad. And she only was in line for like an hour and a half. But yesterday, I went to vote. And honey, I went in and went right out. It walked in and walked right out. Do you hear me? So, <laughs> I, don't, I, went <laughs> right, I, I went right here on Belfast. Belfast and the Beltway. And you can walk oh, right in and walk. Huh? Did you go to a school? No, it's like a... um. It's a, I see your address, but you walk right in and oh, walk right out. Early. And that's why I went for the preliminaries to the same place. I walked in and walked out. But I don't even know if um, if it's, if that's a good or a bad thing. But I know that Texas has broke records in on um, in early voting. I do know that across the country. So, but to, for me to be able to walk in and out, I still want, I, I, I would have wanted to wait until the because that means to me, I can see for myself that y'all are out here voting. That that's that's my thing. So, 
the How polls the got? polls are a very good thing right now. I only waited 20 minutes when I went to vote. But I know Georgia has broke records for early voting. <laughs> broke records. Texas just broke records. So I encourage everybody to go out and early vote because it's it's very easy now to vote. To me, it's multiple ways to go out and vote. There'd be no reason why anybody be voting. So and yeah, it is that's, crazy that they only have one one. But see, first, like crazy. the, the box thing, I mean, it, it is crazy, but I never even heard of a drop box for, for polling anyway. So I've only heard of FT ballots in early voting. So the, the drop box thing don't even really a, like matter to me because I never even heard of it. I didn't even know that was an option to just drop a ballot in the box. I mean, the best be thing to do is to just do it the old school way. Don't take no chances. Just take your ass to your to your um um voting sites and do it the old fashioned way, honey. That's it's too I much. Mean. It's too much going on and uh stuff catching on fire and shit. I mean, I'm sorry and stuff. <laughs> 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 but seriously, just do it the old fashioned way to be safe. Do um did you, have you voted yet, Tamisha? I voted today. Oh, you did. I voted today. Um, they have a, a an actual bus. The bus goes around to different churches and locations, and you can go vote. And it it only took ten minutes. It only oh, took 10 okay. Minutes. Well, that's good. What so I did not know, though, um, not because I but what I did not know is that you can go online. And because right now, everybody's scrambling to know where the polling places are, but you can go online and it'll tell you where, you know, the nearest polling place in your area. So you won't have to get caught up in that massive voting um, by the 4th or whatever. So, Oh, okay. Tevin, have you voted? Chill. Chill. <laughs> Don't set Tevin up like that. <laughs> well, Tevin, I want y'all to know y'all have, have 13 days for early voting, and then um, the voting booth is open on what is it, November 3rd? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the day I'm supposed to be going. Uh, you, you better go. I need to see. Right. I, I, I voted. Yeah, I, I, I haven't to, vote, I haven't voted either. I I just haven't. I, like I told Chevelle last night, I ha, I'm still undecided whether or not I'm going to vote early or go on the actual day. My sister told me wait to the third. You like you you like waiting those lives on election day? Well, for the the the, the last few times that I've voted, been. Even, even um like for the primaries and stuff for like the local voting i've never been in a long line but if there is a if there is a long line then that is my day to vote period so i'm not bothered by a line hell i done stood in longer child we done stood in longer lines at um at the um at the club i done stood the, in longer lines yeah. to try to get in the bathhouse <laughs> Well, which bathhouse bath that was that had a long line like that? I just go there. <laughs> they used to have them in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but honestly, no, no, for real. I've never really had to wait in a long line. But uh, as far as voting, that is that is the day set out to vote. So I'm prepared to, if I decide to go on that day, then that is the day for me to do what I have to do to make sure my vote is counted. Well, I hope everyone um, is registered to vote, and I hope that you guys do vote. Uh, have y'all heard about them? It's a box in um, California. Is, what was it that, Tevin? It was in California. It was in Cal California about uh, um, uh, the FBI was um, called about a burning, a burning ballot box in California. And that's, that's my hesitation. And I, you know, well, I don't never well, want to do that anyway. That's, well, that's not going to be your hesitation because it's too late for you to put your ballot in the box. You got to go and vote early. So what you mean? You, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, as far as voting early, because my thing is anything can happen. I'd rather go on. If that be the case, I'd rather go on the day. Right. Well, I, I already went, and I like to go, and I like to um, press the um, the button. Yes, ma'am. And I like to I hear my uh, paper go in the little, the little yeah, slot. Yeah, 
Yeah. I like our thing. Well, well, it ain't no, well, it ain't no slide. It's the, it's the pressing of buttons, and then you press the button, and you say cast, cast your um ballot, and that's how I was was. I don't know um about. Well, in, in Georgia, it's a slot too, and I like, I like to hear it going to slot two. Okay. Well, I'm child. What? <laughs> Speaking of slots. You say, okay. Wait, 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 what did you say, Portia? Is this going to be my very first time getting to see a slot, a button, or anything? Because it's going to be my first time voting. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're, supposed, you're supposed to put that on your forehead. Wham. Like, okay. Just saying, I did that. <laughs> this your first, first this time. your first time voting, Portia? Yeah. Are you 18? Yeah, since they started letting felons yeah. vote again. Yeah, it is. You know, Portia. She always have been outspoken about that. Oh uh, well, yes. When you going to vote, Portia? So when you I going to vote, Portia? My voter's registration card a couple of weeks ago. Uh, no, yes, you did. Well, a lot of people have cards. It don't mean you vote though. So when you going to vote? I'm, I'm gonna send an address. So are you here or are you there? Where? where? Cause I just asked Chevelle where she went to vote, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I was asking yeah, for the information. Cause I was, I was gonna go around here to this school to, uh, and vote that's around the corner. But when I was on my way to work, they looked like they was closed. I was like, well, I can't go there. Mm -mm, girl, it's right around the corner from my house, child. Right down the street from yours. Let's address, so, uh, uh, let's, let's move on to the next conversation because I, she, you, she asked you where, and I told when, and she thought that was the same question. And I told you Monday. <laughs> Okay. He I didn't know quite where to go. That's why I asked her, where did she go? <laughs> he, <laughs> he missed you, Jeff. I missed Portia. <laughs> and it began. <laughs> <laughs> I missed Portia. <laughs> um, but she ran it off. <laughs> so look. But she, she not ready like those kids was ready for um, Monday Night Fighting. Baby, if I tell you. Oh my God, if I tell you, I watched it. I saw the stir. That that was a whole lot though, y'all. That was a whole lot. So are we go? Are we are we jumping to that now? Yeah, I guess so. Since we are here. you talking about the fight where the guy was saying I'm supposed to knock somebody straight? Which one? The one I'm supposed to knock somebody straight tonight, Mike. Oh, that that's what he was saying. Well, I don't think none of I don't think none of got knocked yeah, that hard. That matter. I don't know, wait, so for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, because, you know, Neil um, <laughs> want to do all of this. So I know that y'all have seen over the weekend that, you know, the thruple, <laughs> they, have, they have got into an altercation this weekend with a young man. And so this is who is... I, you know, I really don't know these children's names and all that kind of stuff like that, but I'm sure y'all know them when y'all see them on the on the fans and the Twitters and Blame Tay. Who? Blame Tay. And I forget the other one name. Rico. Neil might know his name. Rico. Rico uh, Pruitt. And then they got into it with him. Oh, that's you who know. they got into it with. Well, yeah, okay. that's what. That's the one. So he was saying something, you know, me, you know, I go do my journalistic um duties. He was saying that they was in the club and they was coming in his face and this, that, and the other, and somebody stepped on his shoe. No, this, all, but they was all in. I was like, oh, okay. Lord. But I know a little background history. One of them used to date his best friend. And so I, I don't know if that's the reason for um him fighting him or whatever, but it it was yeah that yeah see look I knew they was all gonna come with the names and stuff I knew they was all gonna come yeah from left to right <laughs> I already said it <laughs> so, so J D Blackstone was the person they was fighting J D Blackstone he he was the person that, that initiated the first lick yeah, that was a lick. Yeah, well, he uh, initiated the first whatever you baby. He jumped up and I it looked like they was playing down, down, baby. <laughs> oh, she, she's smaller than the video. Down, down the roller coaster, sweet, sweet, babe. <laughs> yeah, the solo pick was uh JD Blackstone, and so but you know, um, I just think it's a hot mess. You know, the only fans kids is really cut up uh, these days, they they doing a whole lot this, this whole past. Past week, but guess what? 
They ain't exempt from nobody. They regular people. They just getting they just on OnlyFans. We get our just on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Uh, so child, and then they um they in parking lot. They, they make they making videos in parking lot. Get um getting caught by, by security. Is that security or police? Police would have took you to jail. That was security. He said, "Get on out of here now." And the guy with took a bitch, he say, "Now why y'all? <laughs> oh, we talking okay. about that video now? Y'all, y'all need to go somewhere else with that. I need to go on. Y'all need to move around with that. We talking about only fans, people. Period. Kenny, that goes oh. in with them too. That this is all. Go on now. Go on now with that. Go on. on. This is they. They all in this together. You can't. We can't separate them. They have all been together. <laughs> She can't relate that to RuPaul, so she mad. She can't. She can't relate that to RuPaul's Drag Race, so she a little mad. And, and I'm, and, and, and I'm <laughs> glad. No, I'm just making sure I'm, 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 I'm staying with everybody. Shut up. And I'm glad she can't relate it to RuPaul because if they saw the, well, you know, some of some of them, <laughs> if, if they watch the Vegas show, some of them do a little. Come on, girl, let me get my dish with you, and then it don't work out. <laughs> but, Marcy, but Marcy, why do you think it's sad? I mean, they. I mean, there's just another. You know, it's a lot of public fuck. I mean, sex going on. So I mean, it's, it's just another day at the job. It's just another day at the job, girl. No, girl, and, you have to understand, Marcy. They not. They had to go and have a sex in a. It's location, girl. Yeah, it's location. They, they don't they, have to, they get permits to go have in the parking lot. So we gotta make it do what it do. So yeah. girl, come on here, let's go have this uh sex and party. We get caught. Are you ready to go to jail and all you you wanna run? What we gonna do? We gotta get this going before you get in here and you know. Right. And then Mom I was talking to her uh, pants up. As, yeah. as I was talking to Chevelle last night, you know, and they, I think a lot of them do it for the thrill of it. I mean, that 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 uh, a drilling it um, gets them going um, to make it even more exciting, exciting, not just for them, a drilling it. <laughs> I'm making a valid point. Don't let me cut you out. That's to make an X, ain't it? That's to make an X, ain't it? <laughs> okay. stop, stop, stop. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it's just like being in a range, uh, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Or uh, eating a pork chop. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? But what I don't have right? a problem. I don't have a problem with what they're doing because if you're only fans, if I if I do something one month, I gotta continuously do things that's gonna make people want to keep purchasing and subscribing to my page. So if I gotta do it in the garage or in the car or in the police station. You have to do things to make people keep watching you and keep wanting to pay for you. So if that's their that's job, I and I applaud them for doing it. So I am I'm I'm like, let me see you in the first. Wait, wait, what you say, Tamisha? I think he said uh, he said I enjoyed it, but he said I applaud them. Yeah, not no, right. <laughs> no, well, no, I don't. I don't enjoy it, but yes, I do. applaud them for doing oh, what you they do. What they put in that. Yeah, I want to see you in the police station, though. Well, I'm gonna enjoy it for free when you go to my Vista porn hub. I'm not gonna pay for it, though. Yes, and you know it's gonna go there. It's gonna go there. They need that adrenaline to overcome those drugs, child. Look, because didn't that baby look down in that car? Oh, I almost got coke. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. <laughs> it's just a matter of time when we're gonna be having hell coming out. There you go. You gonna get all this garlic. It's gonna be raining. It's gonna be snowing. Girl, you, it's gonna be tornadoes and hurricanes all going on at the same time. Cause they come girl, up down here, by y'all, y'all gonna be. It's gonna come a time where somebody gonna be doing their OnlyFans page at the pageant. So, oh, no, they already, they already they, do. Like, just like somebody told do. me, that shit. I mean, that stuff been going on. We, it's been going on, when, child. When, we, when, the I, internet just happened. That I'm well, gonna just going on? girl. I'm when, saying it's been going on. The internet just happened. Okay. I want you. I want you to go back in time. How long ago? 
Maybe the um shit early two thousands. Well, uh, I think it's been going on. <laughs> it's been going on. No, for freaks, they doing it for freaks. you. They just putting it on <laughs> tape now. Freaks been freaks. Oh yeah, Todd. They, you know, now you know everything becomes a fad. You know, recordings and all that becomes a fad. Child, speaking of only fans, um, Portia, the um, what's his name, uh, Jeffrey Star, boyfriend, ex boyfriend, the one that has been going off about him, he got an OnlyFans now. Child, they done sent me a video of him. Child, they done sent me a video of him. What getting his gym, and it looks well, it looks nice, but it ain't uh, it ain't ready yet. <sighs> the boyfriend, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I broke hold up on. with the girl. Hold on, hold on, Kennedy. Hold on, hold on, Kennedy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Give me that. You what? Uh, shoot me that right quick, little video. Let me check that out. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go me too. Go. I can send it to all of y'all. Thank you. Thank yes, you. you owe me. Okay. We can actually discuss this together. Thank wow. you. Yeah. Yes. You know, so, so we'll be in the know. <laughs> I'm going to send it to the group right now. Y'all, there y'all go. Hey, you gonna get that red cup? Oh, I'm back. 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 So I send it to you, but I'm at work right now. <laughs> Look, and my sister say, send it to me, said, sister, and guess what? You was the next one on the list. So child, you I'm gonna go and send it to you because you was right there. But um y'all should tell me to use the finger. Only fans, well, look, only fans is making um making it making it uh, I know Kenny, I know Kenny the <laughs> Baby, listen, I oh my Kenny. god. <laughs> Uh, oh, definitely yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Baby, you don't know what I want. Shut up over there. Did you hear that T.I. and Tiny doing the OnlyFans? <laughs> Who? T.I. and Tiny. It is. I'm on the OnlyFans. I'm, I'm subscribing. Yeah. Ain't nobody for the... <laughs> now, I'm subscribing to that. Now, wait. Now, if it's over $10, I'm not... Shut up, Jasmine. Uh, I told y'all about them prices. I told y'all about them prices. I, I'm not. I'm still. I, girl, I find it hard because it's the ones that I would love to subscribe to. It's this child on um on on Instagram, and I will tell y'all who he is. And I almost said his name, but I and I love him, child. He he's so fine. You, I don't, you you better not say his name. He gave you ten dollars for his business. He sure did. <laughs> 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 That's why I ain't saying <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I love yeah. the pizza temple. We can talk about all the fans before a long time. Oh, Andre, give me a bottle. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Give me a yeah, whatever y'all like, girl. Whatever y'all like. It don't matter what it is. It could be a bottle, but you're going to do what you come to do when you come over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 I don't care what you is. I'm going to get what I want. <laughs> I'm going to get what I want, and you go on and do what you got to do. And, I'm, and if you want to bring them over here so you can get what you can get, then that's fine, too, because guess what? They can come. I'm here. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Marcy. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. But anyway, do, child. Do we, have, um, do we have any more commercial breaks before we go into, like, uh, uh, next topic. <laughs> the commentator. Since you asking, you know, we might need we, to get some water. You hot? We might need to get water. I think hey, Mama going to talk to Mama. What else uh, you did? New we York go, Hotel. We're going to take, we'll take one. As a matter of fact, my mama had a new video out. And here it is. So go get one. Hey, Josh. It's been a minute. Look. Got my right to vote hair on the day, baby. I'm, I'm mean in business. Look at here. Uh, I'm so proud of my city. Houston has been breaking records, coming out, getting their jush. Look, they talking about they're going to drain the swamp. That's not no swamp. That's our house. That is the White House. And when we get Biden and Harris up in there, guess what? We're going to go on up and up and we're going to open up them doors, open up them windows, let it air out, get that corona out of there, and we're going to let them take care of their business, okay? Anybody need a ride to the pole? 
let a sister know. Because look, I've been out of work since March. The pandemic has me out of work. I'm furloughed. They talk about my job ain't going to be doing nothing to this time next year. And thank God I've been okay. But it's getting tight, but that's all right. Like I say, I'm at home all day, every day. If you need a ride to the pole, sister girl go collect some cans or something so we get some gas money. <laughs> Right, right. Mr. Harrison yeah. said, we're gonna, we go when we get by the Harrison there, we're gonna open up them doors and open up the windows and get that corona out of there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure it's good and musty okay. now. <laughs> it might be tight, but that's all right. <laughs> Girl. Because me and Chevelle know she's at home all day, she's in the park. She in the park at work. She in the park at work. Cause that's what her mama thinks she is. Her. <laughs> Girl, that's a whole nother subject, child. But anyway, so child, we're gonna get into some um pageant talk, y'all. Mm-hmm. Glad Tamisha here. Hey Tamisha. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, give, I give an honor to God who is indeed ahead of my life. I want y'all to the know. Head the head. My sister's being very good. On <laughs> she is not being the Tamisha that she is when she on her page because she don't, you know, she got a rep to protect now. She got things that she's doing and, and she's trying to get her own show started on her page. So she don't want no drama. <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> it's time to start it. We ain't asked her to be out here to be cute. Come on. No, ma'am. That's why, you know, uh, I need y'all to share this live. And if y'all don't, uh, please go to Chevelle Brook 75 and um, subscribe to the page and hit the bell so y'all know when um, we get our just over there on YouTube. So, look, you guys, do y'all think longevity should be a factor when choosing a king or a queen to be your emeritus? Nope. And, and uh, emeritus, well, emeritus maybe not well, for I'm, not for a king <laughs> who's running for the pageant. Emeritus, I can see why you would want somebody with a little experience in the business. However, if we're just if we're running in the pageant, I don't think longevity should be a factor at all. But guess what, though, you got to tell your judges that. So wow. if you have if you haven't you haven't discussed that with your judges, then your judges. And still can go on their own accord, could do what they want to do. But then I think, you know, when you discuss stuff like that with your judges, that makes them think that you're trying to lean somewhere to me. So that's why I think that you should let your judges sit down and be judges. Okay, so I have a question um, to go with that. Um, what if... Um, but you can tell them that the criteria that you're looking for. Right. What if there's... But what... How can I say it? <clears throat> what if there's a determining factor where you have somebody that um, that comes in that... That is uh, that that reputation is that 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 doesn't that's, that hasn't been in a business that long and turns it, but you do have somebody with longevity and turns it as well. well they I have mean, they have I mean, some, they they live up to their longevity is what I'm saying. Well, they good so at the end of the night though. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Okay. Well, then whoever had the most points at the end of the night win. But you can't say that for, say, for instance, you can't say that for, for somebody that's competing with you. Somebody. You said what? I say, say, for instance, you can't say that for someone who is, for instance, competing for U.S. of A. Because yeah. only one person can get that scope. So I'm just making, I'm just, I'm just, you know, throwing some stuff out there. What do you do then? What do you say, uh, Tamisha? Oh, I say so much, but it, it's a <laughs> catch-22 to it because the thing about it is why are you punishing either or? Mm -hmm. New person shows up and get the job done and the old person shows up and get the job done. Why don't you just let the scores fall where they fall? If you take your personal aspect of it out of it and allow the contestants presentation to present themselves then you'll have the winner of that night 
That's just my two cents. That's what, why I was what, like, what, the person who has the most points should win. Like, but a lot of people, I think, do play to people because in interview and in presentation, people will say often, I've been in the business for 25 years, I've been in the business for 20 years. They almost want to give you their resume. Okay, so for you guys um, that's wondering, we um, we are talking about do you think longevity matters um, comes to a factor when a king and queen is chosen for the pageant. So they're talking about when they are competing, not for... Yeah, the, not for the emeritus. Now not, we're talking. not for the emeritus. So they're mm -hmm. talking about when they are competing in the pageant. So what do you think, Portia? <laughs> I feel this is exactly how I feel. I feel like the person that deserves that to show up, that turns it, that deserves it, should win. I don't care how long you've been in the game. You could have been out so your night that shouldn't even matter at this point when I pay my entry fee. If I come up in here and I tell your ass and I tell you up, I deserve to win. Period. But you have those judges right. that sitting at the table, they do oh, but see, she gonna make she gonna carry it. she gonna make the pads and she gonna do this and she gonna bring this to the pad. No, we're talking about what she brought tonight. We're not thinking about what she gonna bring if she winning. Period. Right. So who deserves it, whether she's a new girl or whether she's a legend, if she deserves it that night, she should win. What yeah. about you, Tim? How you feel? Oh damn, I forgot what I was gonna say, girl. I had it really every day. Listen. I think that the winner should be the winner regardless. In order for us to have new legends, we have to let some of the old legends get beat. So the car should fall. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to let the old legends, you don't have to let the old legends get beat. Now, if the old legend beat you, then that's a different story. Now, if the old legend didn't beat been you, you know, yeah, like days they aren't letting the legends beat the new kids. And the new kids are working on some of them. They doing what? The new kids are tapping on some of the legends, but they're not allowed to win the pageant because the legend is there and their longevity in the pageant. So that no. makes them automatically the women. Oftentimes that depends on the legend. Right. Yeah. Because Black America knew, I mean, Black America, she's like a new person to me. Miss Black up, America. Exactly. She is. Catch up, Javon. I just explained what we're talking oh, about. Yeah. We're oh, talking I'm about. explaining. I'm typing the explanation now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I need you to catch up. <laughs> Yeah, we already answered that. Um, I, I agree with everybody. I totally agree. Even though I raised that question, I totally agree because um, especially um, especially being um, mainstream and then coming back into pageantry and having a different outlook on competition and competitors, I, I see um, like from a different standpoint and it's almost like um, the judges have to have a, they have to get out of their own head and judge what they see. So that goes into asking why do you think pe um, pageants pull it for certain people and what makes a person someone you will pull it for? Because a lot of entertainers um, kiss booty. So they be yeah. girlfriend and leaning towards them and so they'll be pull the pageant. A lot, of, a lot of entertainers make deals. They'll say you can try me, and I won't take no money. Oh, the yeah, is it the entertainers or is it the um, the pageant promoter? It's both. The entertainers, the entertainers are going to the pageant promoters. That's why they're pulling this stuff. It, 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 it's coming from all things. But no, sometimes maybe the pageant promoter go to them. And I think yeah. sometimes people, certain yeah. pageants, you have to do what's best for your business. And maybe yeah. Kevin but Kennedy right. or maybe no. Well, First of all, maybe having Kennedy is best for my business this year. Maybe not having Portia is not good for my business this year. Because but certain pages, the kind of thing you call her, well, you call Portia when you know she's getting ready for a prelim and you tell her to stay at home. Don't worry about it. And just let but me no, know to come to the I don't do that, Portia. I'm the one that's going to be calling you. Do this. Be a number. I don't want to. Nobody, don't nobody just want to be a number to nobody. Period. That's true. Period. Period. Right. So well, if somebody well, coming to your pageant and you just want this particular girl, just tell everybody else to stay at home. This man have a crown ceremony. Don't, don't use and, and, them. To come, don't use them to come give nobody no entertainment. But you know that you know realistically, they're not going to do that because they yeah, won't. they're not going to do that. I'm, they I won't. Mean, and, I know that not. Yeah, but and need, a lot of girls give it to me or real quick. Well, a lot of girls <laughs> once you get to the to the status like. 
well, I ain't gonna say the status like Portia, but once you get to the status of certain people, a lot of these girls, they gonna take wins when they should have lost, and they gonna take losses when they should have won. So you're gonna take the good with the bad. So once you play the game, you play the game. Sometimes the game gonna work in your favor. Sometimes the game's not gonna work in your favor. So you can't pick and choose when you mad with the game because it's gonna be sometimes- That's, that's, that's two totally different things you're talking about though. I'm saying no, you, it's not. About I'm saying when people work, yeah, when people want to pull their pads for certain people. No, I'm saying when I mean, people want to pull their pads for certain people, it's the reason why. So at the at the the time that you choose to play the game, don't be well, upset when the game don't work well, in your favor. I, well, I'm gonna say this. I've been one of the girls who they have pulled the pageant for, and during that girl reign, y'all want to read and y'all want to do this, that, and the third. But I'm the girl who's gonna tell you, no, that's the girl you crown. So why are you even reading her now? Because you thought you was gonna, what was gonna happen for you, was gonna happen for you, and it didn't happen for you. Mm -hmm. So that's what you get, right? So when you get what you got, you thought you was gonna get this and that and the third, but you got something else. Because it was all smoke and mirrors for you, but it can be the other way around too. Like it can, be the, it can be the other way around. Guess what? It, it has happened to me twice, so I can speak for I can speak from experience. You know, mm. when I first when I first um, came what out, you speaking from Neil. When I first, came, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm speaking from a lot of stuff. I'm not speaking when they talking about you because I've never been to a pageant where they said it was going to work for you. But I've been to pageants. Where you yeah, have worked it for somebody, oh, where, okay. yes, where they where I went to like yeah. first pageant and you knew who was gonna yeah. win the pageant, but you was going to see who was gonna be first, second runner up. Well, well, Neil, you have you have uh talent some scores and you have um on some pageants, so you know you can't speak from that perspective. So, you know, yeah, you, you, you can also be that girl that um, because I was told to my face that I won't win in the pageant. And I said, okay. And I did went right in. There? I did. That year? Yes. They uh, told me I won't win in the pageant. They told me who the pageant was set for. So well, how did y'all um how did what did y'all think is the most overrated thing about a pageant? Question the now. Question. The rain. We <laughs> talked about that before though. <laughs> Oh, man. oh, please. We're not going to talk about questions and answers with Kennedy and Tevin on him. Oh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, why did you say that? That I'm is not, so bad. Ain't that time? Well, speaking, speaking, of, speaking of Kennedy and Tevin, not even saying that they have right together, but do you rather reign by yourself or do you rather reign with someone? For me, I have, I have, I've had reigns with guys, but they wasn't reigns like that that we had to do things together. My first reign like that actually was, is Goddess International. So it's kind of hard for me because I do my own thing. And when you don't have someone that's, um, and I hate to I hate to say it like that, but when it's not kind of uh, like, what you're saying. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like an equal playing field and because I'm, uh, I'm gonna be doing my own thing and I can't, you know, slow myself down to, you know, do these things with you. I'm going to do the things that I need to do with you, but, you know, it's certain things that I won't be able to do because of contractual, better yet, better money. <laughs> right. Can I, I need to piggyback on that, too, because it, my first my first actual challenge was Goddess 2, and my king, uh, he just came, uh, uh, it, he, he's from our parts of the tracks on, on pageantry, you know? So he's used to having a queen or, and used to doing things with his queen. But before we did anything, I had already told him, baby, I'm not that queen. I'm just <laughs> not. Now we, now, like he was at almost every preliminary. I mean, I mean, he was almost at every, um, every pageant for every walk and I fit fulfilled my obligations, but he was almost at every, uh, pageant there was and, <clears throat> you know, having to, you know, get things alike and all of that stuff. I didn't have a problem with doing, it was just a challenge for me because of my own personal brand yeah. and schedule. You know, so it was it is 
it's harder to now i've had kings you know it's like miss black houston my king was it, it is amazing because we still miss black Houston. I and mean, we still uh, i'm still writing it so yeah we still writing it and he's amazing but to have someone so assertive it depends on who the king is. That too. What to about have you? Someone, yeah. Tanisha. Tanisha. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was reading the comments. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> girl, I can't touch it, girl. I can't touch it. Y'all got it. I can't oh, touch you. you gotta you gotta touch a child. You gotta yes. touch it. Yes. But Tamisha, but Tamisha, you reign both with someone yeah, and by yourself. I have. And I've only reigned with two people. I've reigned with Archie and I've reigned with um Ronnie, uh, Davis. Ronnie Davis. That's it. Everything else has been solo. So I can't like everything I do is solo. So and me and Ronnie, we good. I I don't really I don't have I don't think I, I would want to reign with anybody else because that reign was so special, if that makes any sense. So I picked my battles accordingly. Like I would almost reign with, but anyway, we'll go ahead. Yeah, okay, that far. <laughs> what about Poopy Blue Portia? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> if anybody come on, anybody people. Right, come, come on, people. I guess. Uh, I my first experience reigning with somebody was with Cameron. And I went into I went into it not thinking that how, you know, the, the Black Americans and universe people, how they do stuff together, like all their stuff got to be together, together. I went in thinking my own thing, girl, like, I'm just the way I'm just to do this. And it wasn't like that. But when I got adjusted to how it was, I was cool with it because I love Cam. I've only reigned with two, or well, yeah, Cam and Taco. And I enjoy both of them. They both were sick then to me. What about you, Tevin? Period. Um, I, I like having the queen, um, but I also like being by myself. For any reason, I'm able to um, be myself. I don't have to worry about the dressing up or having to make sure that she's right. Except for with Nicole. Nicole does everything. She has to make sure I'm right. In that aspect, I like Nicole as my queen, but I like everybody else, but it just don't be like having a phone from my queen. I don't See, do it, it, it be like a, it be a difference of opinion, and you got to do this, and you got to do that with your king, and you got to match with your queen, you got to do it's this. Oh, it, it's a lot. And then uh, uh, it's, it's to me, it's like having a whole nother job. <laughs> but, oh, I, but I, see, I'm, I'm a gentleman. I, I, I'm a gentleman. It's whatever you say. But, but some of the girls, you can't say that to because they don't have that your, my type of standard. Right, but yes, I, think so that, I think that you with a queen or a king, I think that you guys need to talk it out and come to to some type of mutual agreement. Like, okay, well, you can put your style with this. We can put our styles together and come up with something. I don't yeah. like a king that's gonna say you got it, whatever you say. What well, yeah. making a piggybacking you know, off that, Shavia? The new generation tends to fire to someone they want that connection as a as a team representing the system and they're doing well with it we just were from a different time mm -hmm. with us but i still like the new generation they're doing habits matching up they don't mind the walks we all we don't want to do the walks they don't mind you know get outfits alike we even we have our issues but i still encourage it because it looks I wish I had that other than um, Ronnie, but what they're displaying, I'm living for it. It's amazing. Now, I, and, and, and seeing, and, and seeing I, when I see it, I'd be like, oh, I wish I had a king like that. But I don't know the, the background of it, what comes with that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm look, like... I think it goes... I, well, look, on the outside looking in, some people are more compatible than other people. So if, mm -hmm. if your king and queen, y'all the same height, Y'all friendly, y'all like each other. It works better versus if I'm four foot nine and my other person six foot tall, it doesn't quite look, mess look well Neil, together. Look, Neil, you keep Tevin in the cold out of this. Stop it. 
<laughs> you saw him, Tevin. I had you. Okay. Okay. Cause you had clock on. Clock on. But, <laughs> but see, Tevin and Nicole, at least they are compatible as far as like they get along with other things. Some people just don't mess well with other people. They want the title, but I don't necessarily. I want to be this title. I just don't want to be this title with Portia. If she so happens to win, then we just have to be stuck together. So I, you have, you know, you I think it's, work, but it's all about communication. And then, right, you know, and I think it works well. I think it works well between two people who are already established versus two people who need each other. Hey, Roxanne. So, um, you know, they say a king and queen should compliment each other, but you don't know who you're getting. So you can't. Yeah. You want to win the title. When you spoke to Black America, Black Universe, you want to win the title. You don't yeah. care who's reigning yeah. until the day after. You'll be like, oh, bitch, I'm stuck well, with that's you. not true. I need two balls to reign with Nicole. Well, you got it, but hey. Oh, uh, well. And I can, that's, I can truly that's say, that's not the same thing, Tevin, because y'all reign. I mean, y'all pageants are months apart of each other. I'm talking about people that it, it is right, but I need pageants to reign with Nicole. But then when oh. I win a pageant, I want, I, I, I'm like this. Two T, I won this by myself. <laughs> we're gonna do all the things that we got to do together, and all I'm, the contractual obligations. And if I can't, I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna try to help you. If 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 they say that this is kind of this can't happen for you or whatever, I'm gonna try to help you in a way if, you, if I can persuade them to make something happen for you because yeah. I won't be able to make it happen. But if we not agreed on it, I'm not. Gonna yeah. it all time. But so okay, so listen, we with, we talking about pageants. And that, let's take it to like talent. And I'm gonna speak about this because this this got a time together with that. Giselle made a post about um, Armando's song that he did by Miranda Curtis. She better not see no one doing this. But then she had to go back and retract her statement and reword it. So, what talents do you think should be banned <laughs> from pageants? So say what say, say it again. I'm sorry. Rhythm and love and take time. Oh, what talent should be banned? Yeah, what talent should be be banned? And then I'm gonna take it back to once we talk about the banning, because I know that's gonna tie into that question about uh, what Giselle said. So rhythm and love, take time, and also and scandal. <laughs> they say mama dearest. Damn, Jill. It's a lot of Jill, any Jill Scott where you standing there with a microphone. Man, relation you, Neil. Relation uh, you. Oh, gospel. <laughs> relation you. <laughs> relation you. Relation you. Yeah, relation you. Relation you. Relation you. Relation you. So I. Um, Derek Coley and Vanessa, whoever that is, that band. Church music. Church music. You a devil. I'm not. No, you know, oh, the reason no, why I, I say that sounds to me, band. I, no, I, I like that song. That's the, 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 the problem with Vanessa and Daryl's song is that I believe that both of them have equal parts, so it's not it. Yeah. It doesn't showcase who the lead in, the, in that talent. Right. Any so if you do that, if you do that matter. talent, I can only give you a five. But it's any duet. You late. You late. You late. I am. No. Um, you know who the leader is. You don't know who the leader in that talent is. I asked Tommy Ross the question um, of uh, um, some years ago because I wanted to do, I wanted to sing live and do a um, and sing live but make it a duet. And she asked me um, from a judge's standpoint, even though even though I am the contestant, who talent is it? Mm -hmm. I need to see more of you. Right, and so if you have equal parts in that in that talent as a duet, then there is no talent for you. And that's the talent that you can do, like <laughs> me and so on, both so on, gonna do it for my talent. But then in the next page, we doing it for his talent. I'm telling you, I was at Sweetheart. I was at Sweetheart one year, and I judged a boy doing Vanessa and Daryl Coley's song, and then. The next talent, a girl came out and did the exact same talent one year, sweetheart. Yeah. Doing the exact same talent. But your job is to judge, not to pass by your opinion on what's coming out in front of you. Because you yeah, make three TikToks back to back. 
But at that yeah. point, you gotta judge him accordingly. But we yeah. say that yeah, see, but what, what, geez, he can't answer this question. But, but but what we're saying though, you know, we're not talking about how do you judge it. We're talking about what should be banned because I shouldn't have to. A, a talent shouldn't be able. A boy shouldn't be able to do the a girl talent. A girl should be able to do a boy talent in the same freaking pageant. But I didn't know that she was gonna do it. It's the same, but it's the same, that's the thing. Going back to what well, I'm trying said, to mind. going I'm back to what Kenny said, nobody has a a majority part in the talent, so everybody's equal in the talent. So you can't say it's your talent because the girl, you and the girl, got the same equal amount of part. Oh, what you think, Tamisha? The energy is the same. Um, right. <clears throat> I mean, the thing when it comes to the banning of songs for the banning of songs is because say for instance when we started there are songs and Portia probably can relate to this uh, and, and I'm sure everybody else there were songs that you saw Tommy do that you want to get a piece later on the only difference with um, certain songs they're not making them their own you understand what I'm saying wow. like they would make they may do it like the individual did it and they may not have done it good so mm -hmm. at one point we used to take certain songs it don't I don't think you should ban music because it's how you deliver it. I mm -hmm. understand what y'all saying though. Some 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 things you are tired of seeing, but everything can be reinvented. So I, I'm not I'm not with the band of the song. I'm with the reading the bitch that, that's tearing the song up. Yeah, I, I agree because um I just think like you when you find somebody a song that you've seen somebody do, don't and as many times I know you love watching the entertainer do it, but don't come and do what that entertainer did. You gotta right. find make it your own. You gotta listen to the words and find your own judge. Yes, right. make with, it your with, own. With this, like with that music, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, right. how do y'all feel about not talking about a talent? But you know, like that, what Tamisha just said, I can agree with that. But when somebody sees a talent like Jasmine did, what worship you? And now people still 20 years later are doing worship you the same way in a the same look, the same everything. I'm like, the things that, they, saw, that, they, they, thought, that they thought they saw at church. <laughs> no, you saw that on Jasmine Bonnet. Like, like, I ain't seen I ain't seen a I ain't seen a, ain't seen a lady like that in church in years. You haven't seen a lady like that in church since Man and Mouse Clock. <laughs> 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 so, so how do y'all feel about how do y'all feel about boys slowing down girl music? Hate it. I hate Stop it. it. Hate Stop it. 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 Wait, hold on, Tevin. Well, they're not doing that no more. Yes, yes they, they are. are. Oh, they still doing it, Tevin. No, I mean it, it's it's so many artists out here that, that are redoing songs. Yeah, see, because see, y'all, I be accused of that, but most of my songs are artists that have redone the song. Right. Girls have, girls have, a, girls have a better selection of music that most of us homosexual men like. So we mean we mean those songs more, more so than the boring, harsh Luther Ward Vandross. So you know, that, boring, that, aggra that aggravates me. What about, girl, that? what about that girl that do our music? Because my mama started her career off <laughs> doing when doves cry. I ain't started my career off when, when I was doing when Doves Cry. I was already yeah. in my career. But guess what? All of y'all thought that was a girl song. I but know it, I did. It, 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 everybody thought that was a girl song because he sounded like a girl. And it didn't, I didn't slow it down. I didn't change the tempo of it. I did it. I've even done um, Justin Timberlake Love Stone, but I did him. And so I turned it. I've seen I've the boys do. I've, I've even done PYT and I've turned it, but I don't do it all the time. It was for special occasions, excuse me, special occasions or something like that. Y'all will not just some boys will slow down Beyonce. They're slow. Yeah. They're slow I've down. I've seen boys do Beyonce. Rhythm them alone. Oh my down. god! Oh, oh, they they do do the love and some of my kids, some of my kids even do rhythm of love, and they, they don't. Have time. Did you come my way over tonight? Don't delay. <laughs> I don't have no problem with a person doing a cover because I just did Tevin Campbell's "Can We Talk." It's a cover, yeah. Yes. But 
But when you slow the music down and the 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 um the through it, yeah, no, that is not cute. It is not. I you hate it, and you are not going to get a good score from me. I don't like it. I don't like it either. For me, I feel like it's. First of all, I feel like it's lazy because there's too many great talented singers in the male genre that yes. you can make beautiful. Yeah, and it's more male singers, and it's more male singers than female singers out here. Yes, it is. It's way more male songs out here. And I'm Girl. just like, what, what, what? Why would you even want to do that? You know, when you have all, uh, and and the, the reason for drag is to, my, my explanation. It's to introduce music. What was your explanation? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I agree. As a homosexual male. We don't listen to boy music. We listen to girl <laughs> <laughs> song. They, 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 they be thinking that's gonna, that's gonna turn it. But <laughs> as a homosexual male entertainer, you need to be finding your judge. <laughs> no, you know, I just told somebody yesterday, I'm like, oh, this song is hot. The boys will be doing this song in about seven to ten years. And baby, if I tell you because they, it's gonna take that long for them to find it. You mean seven to ten days? <laughs> no, no, no. y'all still doing experience. Anthony Hamilton on show and giving me the best of me. Amazing, out there on the ocean. Can we talk for a minute, Chris Brown? Out of here. I get love. Here. I, I love. Out of there, you can get your judge. Oh, can we talk? Ah. Anybody but he, 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 he reading all the boy music. Oh. Child, don't pay me no to no. Kevin, oh, Kevin. Okay. Tevin, you, performed, Mario. Tevin, you performed last Thursday night. Tevin, what did you do on the show last Thursday night? But what is his uh, aesthetic, though? What did you what, do last Thursday, Tevin? What I'm trying to think what I did in my costume. I'm trying to think. Um, mm, <laughs> what did I do? Mm, what did I do in my costume, Neil? You, you, you don't remember? Oh, I'm, I'm sure it was something from the, from the early 2000s or 90s. They don't have to be in the time for that to enjoy me on the show. Right. Um, Actually, Kevin can't be put in that category. Actually, it wasn't yeah. the early 2000s. Actually, it was you, 2018. He I cannot be put in that category, so <laughs> stop. Yeah. Okay. So. Right. But I cannot say something. Yes. I, so um, just to, to, to like cap it off, if you do choose to use uh, like t another, uh, another song or another talent, just work hard at making it better or doing it to the best of your ability. Cause yeah. I like I I redid, I purposely did big time. And I talked to Jasmine about it because that was my inspiration. And yeah. I took I took everything that sh that that she created and doubled it. So it, it was my it was my objective to make it bigger. And to make it better, and that's I am that's the job as an up and coming queen. You know, you you leave your legacy, but you also want the people that's coming behind you to do better than what you did. Well, I'm gonna say this: it doesn't matter what you do on the show. The objective is to turn the party on the show, and yeah. I'm gonna, and I'm, I'm I'm gonna say this because you know, just like they just said, well, it's not in the top five, it's not in this, it's not in that. Watch this. <laughs> So that was at a black club, at a black at a at a black night, and they don't know what she was doing. All they know is that she entertained them. So your objective is to be on stage and to be entertaining, whether it's an old song, whether it's a new song. But don't be um slowing down no fish song because get your own just you can find you can find your own. Hey, so, but they slowing them down because the people sitting in the audience like me. But this, this is the no, thing. No, they're not like me, wait, Tevin. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What you got to say to me? I don't have a problem with them slowing the song down. I have a problem with you performing this song like me. That's that true. Make, I don't have a problem with <laughs> the song down if you can give it your own. But to do the perform, you, it's like you at me. Bitch, your hand don't supposed to go up like that on that song. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So th that's the thing. Like, I know we are able as homosexuals to 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 broaden the horizon but if you're gonna slow it down so you can wear jeans and pants 
give that type of give that type of performance. They want to wear cat suits like you, Tamisha. I know, child. Just come on the phone with me. I'm fine with that. But so, don't make me buy because you just slowed it down. Yeah, hello, and don't be doing uh, me in the process. What is your biggest regret? In, what is your biggest regret in um in your career that you have had? Oh, wow. Finish the question. I'm sorry. What what had what was your biggest regret in your career, if any? Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Want me to go first? Go ahead. Yeah. No, I was just playing. Oh, <laughs> <hell. laughs> <laughs> well, for me, uh, not wow. one day, I, I, mm. I think um, I don't have any regrets. I think I've learned from all of my mistakes. Mm -hmm. So I don't have any regrets because um, everything that I have done in my career, I've learned from it, whether it has been good or bad. Um, I, don't have, I don't have no regrets in, in what I have done and what I have chosen for myself. I, don't, I think that I'm going on a path of greatness, you know, because it's what I consider great, and I'm still got room for it. So, Portia, the question is, uh, what's your biggest regret in your career? <clears throat> wow. Right? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if it has nothing to do... Well, yeah, it does have something to do with my career because I feel like that's why my career to myself is that it came to a standstill. I feel like my biggest my biggest regret is hustling at such a young age because it caused me to go in and out of in and out of jail, in and out of prison through my youth for years where people were actually winning and people were actually wanting them to win and be their they queen when I was really good to myself. But I spent so much time going in and out to where people stopped trusting me. Even if I was good, they didn't they wouldn't crown me because of it. Come on. So I, I regret going, being good, then getting locked up, coming back, being good, then getting locked up, because I feel like it hunted me for a very long time. Wow. What about you, I, When I think go about... Ahead. Oh, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. When I think about, I'm sorry, but when I think about Erica Norell, Erica Andrews, and all those girls that I actually was, you know, in age with and competing, they always win those big things at such a young age, in their 20s. And I spent most of my twenties being locked up, so that's why yeah. I said that. Yeah. yeah. My biggest regret is wasting my time and my money on fantasy. Completely. David. I mean, I be rich. Yeah, I wasted my life to please people and now I find the people that matter. You say what? Yeah, yeah, I wasted my life to please people and now that I please people, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you see, and, and that's that's an honest answer, you know. Yeah, so I regret it. Do you regret it? <laughs> what about you, Tamisha? Well, um, the question was, was the biggest regret of your career? Exactly. So for me, I have to look back on the 30 years of my career. My biggest regret dealing with my career is not being as faithful to my fans as they were to me. Because, you know, this, this thing will take a toll on you. And oftentimes you will get consumed and digress. And, and, and deal with whatever you have to deal with until you want to resurface. And sometimes those people are still there, but sometimes they're not. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. some people really fuck with you. Like, I would, like really, when we started, we had diehard people that really support you. You know what I'm saying? Like, people, the stunts was doing what the stunts was doing, but you had people who hard earned money support you. So it's like, for the years, I've allowed my career to, to actually take me away from my fans just to stay sane and in this industry. That's my biggest I mean, Fred. Um, Neil, we kind of all in this same industry, but you are in something different. So what about you? No, but as I want to know what... In the I pageant world? What's, what's his biggest... Like, yeah, what's up? 
<laughs> we still have a career in this community. We right. have a career in this community, but you know, he's, his, his career does not make his money. Our career makes our money. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's yeah. So maybe a regret. It's it's bad, but maybe starting out and doing my own pageant from the very start, and not like you know being a newcomer oh, really? to another person's pageant because I'm living under their expectations and not doing my thing because I think I could have been so much bigger or my sister been so much bigger better without all the cloud of somebody else's somebody else's um what they had. Yes. What about you, Kennedy? Oh, I was like, she's going to get me last. I'm like, well, I have to really think about it. Uh, I come, I'm very much so like you because I learned from every experience. Um, <clears throat> but I kind of regret. Oh, my God. I don't think it was regret, but I just wish I would have followed through on, like, when I won my first preliminary to um, Black Universe. I wish I would have followed through on that um, because I still, there's still a longing for love from my own community. And we talked about that in your, um, in our interview. Um, I just feel like at the, at the point of my, my, my baby career, I was at the height of before, you know, I went through what I went through and I just wish that I just pushed through at that time to tap into my own community because I was at the height of it during that time. So I feel like I could have, I could have kept hold to um, Kennedy then versus just letting her go. Well, I'm glad we all got that. I mean, you know, everybody know our regrets are. And, and what we learned from them. And um, we're going to take a little uh, a little break, you guys, because, um, you know, ha having regrets is like childhood. <laughs> it's like reliving, girl. I'm about to get emotional. <laughs> Let me go pee, honey. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's <laughs> like... You've been emotional about going back to the first? Uh, <laughs> Huh? About what no, paper? because no. Then for me, then um, th that was that was the your Jasmine Bonet one. Okay, okay. I'm just talking about like the when experience with the relation, right? <laughs> yeah, when you know, when I was, you know, when people uh, knew my name, and I, you know. And I was really at the height of my young career. And I wasn't, you know, I was a newcomer, but I was still in, I was in the realm of veterans. You think and you would have beat Jasmine? Huh? You think you would have beat Jasmine? I truly believe that I, had I kept going, I had that's to leave. Whole, I had that's to, a whole nother topic. You missed Uh Yeah, see, uh-uh. We are back this Sunday night. You know, you guys, we are celebrating my sister's birthday. And, um, Port, you want to tell them about your party? Sure, I do. I would love for you guys to come. <laughs> the dinner is going to start at 6 30 and it lasts until 7 30. <laughs> and all the tables are gone, but we do have standing room. And 
I appreciate all the people that's coming from out of town to do the Turnabout show. I thought I would do something different this year because I normally have family and friends that's on the show. Not saying that these guys that are coming are not my socialists or close associates or friends, but they're coming from out of town and from all over. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that from them to come give these people a different type of entertainment. And it's close to Halloween, and I know how guys like to put a wig on and stuff. I've never seen <laughs> I've never seen Neil in one, but you know, they like to do that. So I thought I would give the audience something different to look forward to. Well, maybe Neil can come down and do yours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Kenan, I also got something um, that you um, might be interested in, um, Neil. Tell us about it, Kennedy. <laughs> um, every Tuesday, starting November 10th, I will be um, holding a weekly talent show. Um, there's nothing going on here in the city of Dallas um, as, far, uh, as far as an avenue for amateurs, um, professionals, or whatever to showcase their talent. So um, there's a $200 um, talent night going on, and I'm fighting to even give away more money. So starting November 10th, I have um, this talent show, and my, my first special guest is my mother, Collectors Davenport. Sign up is at 9 p.m. Showtime will start promptly at 10 30 and every week i will have a special guest whether it be in town or out of town so and dallas dallas, right? dallas texas fort, fort worth and abroad come on in and showcase your talents it is judged and audience applause is added to the um accumulated score oh, okay you got judges i do oh okay well cute I do as well Tamisha, what um what do you have coming up? I have a lot of stuff coming up, but I can't really speak on su certain things. Um, all I can say that I can announce now is that I have started my own radio station. Um, TV radio. You can download that. What is it? It is my TV radio. You can download it in Google Play. Um, it's actually active right now. I got a lot of stuff coming. Um well, I got a lot of stuff going on. It's just I can't oh, at this point I can't I can't reveal what I have. Let's stay tuned everybody. <laughs> and, and keep a um and keep a lookout for Tamisha um on her page and all that kind of stuff like that. Tell me you got anything rocking what's going on with you? No I'm just being real you ain't got no, you ain't stoning nothing. You ain't, you know, you gotta, you got, you stone stuff, child, and the kids are doing pants, and so you, you're not, you're not doing You don't want, you don't want to post, they ain't got no deposit. They ain't got no deposit. I need something that you, I have my coin. Send it on. She <laughs> I have something to report. Child, look, don't act like that. If y'all do, if y'all do, you, cause Jasmine on here, she always uh send you stuff. So um, if y'all need some stuff starting, y'all see my son because he's a um uh, he's a uh oh really <laughs> y'all gonna get into it now. Ooh, Lord, get some it's been a year. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if y'all want something stone and need something stone, y'all see my child, he's very talented. Neil, where you going to play cards at and stuff and how school going? Uh, I'm not playing cards tonight, I'm in for tonight. Yeah, we know that now. We knew that at the beginning of the show. Y'all weren't going nowhere. Yes, but tomorrow to night, I'll, I'll be at Big Plan Car. No you stay at what Portia? You don't have no events coming up. I would love to fly down there and come. Oh, you know, well, if you, you want to come down here, okay, an event. I told you guys a few weeks ago, I got something like big that I couldn't tell you about, but MLK Weekend in Atlanta, Georgia, the big um, ball for the weekend will be Saturday night that we'll be doing. So, Porsche, if you have your forty dollars to get to the ball, we'll love to see you there. More, <laughs> it'll be more. Oh, it'll okay, be more weekend. I'm at the show. What? More. It'll be more details coming soon. It's over ten thousand dollars that we're giving out, and so yes, Porsche, that's my big event. <laughs> well, well, I, would love to come, I would love to come sit in the audience and watch it. You know. Well, hopefully yeah. we'll be there, girls. We can do a um a live taping of our point of view that week. So that'll be uh, we can do yeah. yes. 
I'm sorry. I also I will also be in Jackson on Saturday at the 3911 Club in Jackson, and then Sunday I will be in New Orleans. So come on out, come on out. Yeah, come on out, come on out, come on, come on, yes, come on, out. come on, Wait, come on this out. Time, is this the end of the show? Because Chevelle, we still ain't got to about six topics, baby. And guess what? We're not going to get to them. That's always next week. And so guess what, you guys? I want to thank you guys for tuning in to our point of view, because guess what? I got to go. I got to go to the boom, boom room, baby. You know, y'all want to know what I'm doing? I'm going to go right here to the boom, boom room so I can get my what? My everlasting judge. A girl is working, and I know y'all working. That's why we don't have the, um, the after show no more. But, you know, I'm, I appreciate you guys, and please... um tune in next week where our guest will be um, none other than and I, I'm so glad she's back we're going to have Trinity K. Bonet next week, Miss Westland and um, RuPaul Drag Race alumni she's going to join us next week at um, our point of view on, and, and, tell you. Kennedy. And after that we're going to have Jawaka Tima Davenport is one of our special guests she's going to be on 11 11 20 but then don't forget we have the we have to talk about the election on um, the day after voting and all that kind of stuff. So we got a special show on that particular Wednesday and I'm putting that together now so we can know who that is. Don't forget to share this live and um, if you have missed some stuff, go back and watch it on YouTube because that's where it'll be. Tamisha, ah. thank you so much for um, coming and joining us tonight, Chad. And, and, <laughs> um, Tamisha, okay. and Tamisha, we'll have you back here in early next year. <laughs> 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 don't tell, don't tell me this. As a man, y'all got, got, got 12 days to, uh, before the <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me not take well, this wig off you. Okay, because we need you to wake up like that, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, y'all come on out. You in Houston? If you in Houston, I'm getting ready to um probably put on a hand and take this off and go out bald head. But I'm on my way to, to Hamburger Mary so I can get my entire juice. If y'all want to order or get your juice fan, hit me up in my inbox. They are $30, and I would love to let you get your juice. We oh, hold on a second, Jess. We haven't got t-shirts. So if, if y'all want a juice, a juice t-shirt, they are $25. Same. Hit me up in my inbox. Hit me up on my cash app. Hit me up on my PayPal. Hit me up on my Venmo. Hit me up on Zelle. Hit me up so you can get your entire gist. I thank y'all so much. Don't forget, I need y'all to go out and vote. Vote, 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 vote. Your voice needs to be heard. If you already voted, take somebody else to the poll and let them vote. Okay? So I thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight. And um, as always, it's only our point of view. Good night, everybody. Good night. I'm earthquake and room shaking and money making. I put the boom in every room. That's why I stay fully booked.